What's good everybody, Romero17 here, and today we're going to be covering how to counter the clinch, part one. So, going to be using strikes to counter the clinch. So, for uppercuts and hooks, the clinch is able to kind of muscle through, but if they eat too much damage, you are going to be able to win those type of exchanges. And with the clinch, there is a way to deny the attempt using the strikes ever since that the clinch has gotten nerfed. And the two main strikes that really get used to counter the clinch are the jabs and the crosses. So I'll show you guys how exactly it works, right? So when you have an opponent trying to clinch you, even if the jab is at a really close up range, it's going to interrupt the clinch attempt. Doesn't matter if it's not at the proper range of the jab, this pretty much serves as a denial against the clinch now. Versus in UFC 4, the clinch will be able to override this jab. This also applies now to the cross. So both the jab and the cross are able to interrupt clinch attempts. And with using the left analog stick while you're moving with the jab or the cross, you can also use this as a means to deny the clinch attempts. So you can combo these as well. So go into your move list and check it out. So also with movement in this game, if you do retreating strikes like a retreating jab and you see your opponent is advancing with the clinch attempt you can do the same thing with a retreating cross now while stationary the hooks and uppercuts won't work if you do this while retreating you will be able to interrupt the clinch attempt you can also use the lead hook as well so it can serve as a check hook while retreating and it will also interrupt and stop the clinch attempt right so have a double jab tries to go for the clinch and we're going to be just going backwards and inputting the lead hook. And we'll be able to counter this clinch attempt. You can also do the same with uppercuts. And all of these movement based counters have a good chance of creating a damage icon and having it appear. Another thing you guys can do, this has worked in UFC 4 as well, is using slip counters. Remember, you shouldn't be here if you don't already know how to counter strike, so go check out the counter striking video. But anything like slip crosses into combinations, slip rear uppercuts into lead hooks, slip counters work against clinch attempts. You can slip into anything, slip lead hook, slip rear hook, slip uppercuts, slip crosses. Those three strikes work really well. But you can also, if they're really close, you can chuck in an elbow. And y'all know how devastating the elbows are with creating cuts on UFC 5. So if you slip in the pocket and you throw a lead elbow or a rear elbow, or you even slip and input a spinning elbow, it's going to lead to a very bad time. But that's pretty much it for this first part of using strikes to interrupt clinch attempts. Hopefully you guys appreciate this quick little video. Please don't forget to drop a like. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. We'll have another video up for y'all very shortly. Remember 17, I appreciate y'all. I'm out of here.